Hey folks, uh, today I'm going to tell about my experiences uh, about working in SBI. You know what I mean, that is State Bank of India, uh, which is the major public sector bank in India. I think it has a um, customer base of around the population of United States of America. You heard it right. United States of America ki population kitni hai. I mean, it, it's about uh, 46 crore or 47 crore. And that's the population the SBI employees are handling. That's the population uh, those who have accounts in SBI. And the day-to-day -day operations, the day-to-day -day financial transactions are happening in SBI uh, about that population. And this population is very huge. We have a 130 crore plus population in India and among uh, them and out of it, uh, 46 crore people are having accounts in SBI okay they, some uh, some person may have multiple accounts I don't want to count such but uh, even if uh, negate that uh, count you will find at least uh, 30 crore unique accounts in SBI so that's a huge amount I think the employees who are working in SBI are, uh, ha, are doing commendable job because they are doing such a huge work such a huge uh, voluminous work with a very mere amount of salary uh, that you can't imagine okay all over the world uh, there is no such banks handling such a huge customer base okay there are many custom there are many banks there are many international banks JP Morgan uh, American uh, banks uh, Singaporean banks and whatnot but they are not handling so much pressure okay they are doing business they are doing business at its core profit at its core but SBI profit to dekhti hai but they have uh, created a um, I think what can I say a trust among customers not only for the peop rich people but for each and every class of people okay so there are uh, so different types of customers you will find in SBI I mean poorest of the poor and the high net individuals all are having accounts in SBI because of trust because of the service they get yes they uh, you may you may heard that the services are not good they are so-called government uh, employees but yes uh, this is the fact that they are handling the voluminous population and day by day uh, with automation and AI and machine learning coming into effect in our organization not only in our organization in many organization be it banks be, uh, be it uh, construction companies be it any companies uh, in any field AI that is artificial intelligence and machine learning are there in each and every and they are penetrating in each and every sector so human interaction are day by day decreasing okay so working uh, uh, working with this automations or uh, commensurate with this operations we are um, we uh, we cannot handle such uh, change so when there is a change uh, with automation naturally people are getting affected because they are used to that manual work they are used to uh, that uh, manual interaction okay that interaction with the employees and the customers so this there is a very special connection about them okay so these are day by day in decreasing you have machines nowadays to deposit in our account there are ATMs everywhere wherein you can withdraw your cash okay there are passbook printing machines wherein you can uh, have your uh, transactions uh, in a very documented short form so and of course uh, there are there are many things uh, you can do uh, sitting at home I mean you can do your KYC sitting at home just by doing an email so doing an email sending in documents over an email reduces the 
interaction between a between customer and the person who is working in SBI or for say any bank. So the automation has decreased the manpower in SBI. Okay, not the government, not the people, because we are uh, in a state where we are going towards automation. Okay, to there are several factors actually to um, implement those automations because we have seen bribery cases, we have seen fraud cases. Okay, so government and many organizations are trying to uh, level best their performances, level best their operations and with transparency and definitely uh, with um, accuracy. Okay, so they are reducing errors. They are reducing errors in frauds. Okay, they are reducing er uh, errors in each and everything they do in their operations. So there are minimal uh, uh, amount of space doing frauds. So to reduce those risks, automations comes into play and day by day, uh, the interactions of the customers uh, are reducing and so the uh, uh, people getting recruited in SBI is day by day decreasing. You will find in the coming generation that people are working at home doing KYCs in a very uh, <coughs> in a very uh, in a very uh, closed uh, cubicle forms. Okay, so banks will definitely uh, uh, it's a new new banking concept. It's a new concept uh, that are being implemented. So people are getting affected definitely. That's why uh, people sometimes say that the services in SBI is uh, so harsh. It's not like that. I uh, I think uh, the automation comes into play and there is a change in that what I have explained to you. Uh, so this change uh, has uh, troubled uh, many uh, people who are not get used to it. Many customers are not uh, used to it. Even I have seen people who are not uh, using... Uh, checks atms they are only withdrawing and depositing money through withdrawal forms and deposit forms because uh, there's something uh, there's something in their mind that uh, it can be cheated or a fraud may happen or what not because they are not used to it and they don't want to change actually they don't want to adapt to the online banking okay what i mean to say uh, online concept mobile banking they didn't have apps in their mobiles okay they are uh, sometimes uh, uh, people uh, i have seen many people who are 40 plus or 50 plus age they are still uh, in that form that short mobile phone okay so there are customers you may think uh, everyone has smartphone no no that's not the matter uh, yes our economy has been uh, is day by day uh, improving people have uh, different sources of income okay St standards of living has uh, day by day increasing so people have money but they don't want to adapt those adapt to such changes i mean to say they have that money but they don't want to spend their money on smartphones you uh, you may go to any rural sector you will find uh, people of old age having a uh, yeah, having uh, properties, huge properties, uh, acres of land, but they are still using that phone, that small phone, that keypad wala phone. Okay, so uh, it's a kind of uh, not not to adapt to changes. So, so these are all factors about uh, what I have discussed. So to cut in short, um, SBI is doing a tremendous work. Uh, and they are serving the 46 crore people so you must be highly indebted to it if you have an account or if, uh, if not you have an uh, you, you haven't have an account so uh, i am highly impressed with the employees who are working tirelessly to give services uh, to people so best wishes to all the customers even if you are not customer who is uh, listening now but uh, yes uh, uh, hats off to those uh, 
who have such a respect for SBI or for say the government, uh, the financial sector of our country because our finances are not so poor. Even during COVID, you have seen uh, not much uh, prices have gone uh, up. Okay. Uh, um, compared to other nations. I mean to say you can compare even compared to uh, USA where, where 65% uh, population lost their job. The working people, the working professionals, 65% of those working professionals have lost their job. It's, it's haven't ha happened in India. Okay, that 65% population has lost their job in India. No, 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 that's haven't happened here. So I mean to say we have uh, such good people in finance sectors. Um, they are working tirelessly to work on national interest. Uh, yes, we sometimes we argue, uh, we question governments, but uh, that's the part of debate. That's a part of learning, I think. Uh, so keep motivated enough to do good work. So signing off right now. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe my channel and uh, if you haven't been subscribed, uh, uh, at least a like uh, for sharing such a knowledge or to discuss something about the banking sector and its experiences. So uh, signing off, thank you and have a great day ahead.